Hey y'all, so I know it's been quite a while since I filmed a video for you guys, but I wanted to kind of do a planner, like a mid-year planner slash life update um, with you guys. So these are the planners that I'm moving into the rest of the year with. Um, I did lose the Hobonichi. I lost, or I'm going to lose, um, my print, uh, print passion, print Depression weeks because it's getting too bulky um, I'll show you it so this is what it looks like right now and it's really bulky so um, I'm just gonna stop using it um, for the remainder of the year and then these are the planners that I'm going to go with so I'm gonna go through them and then I'm kind of kind of give you a life update as I do it so let me just move. So the first one, of course, this one is not set up. Um, I'm actually waiting on my items to set it up. I've taken out all my spring stuff though. Um, and I'm waiting on my tool and twine co, um, summer items to come in so I can get her all set up and looking beautiful. But this is my print passion me six rings planner that I have. Um, I've shared it in a haul and I've shared it, um, planning in it. So she is just white, 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 white elastic, white stitching. She actually needs to be clean. And I believe this is faux leather. It's not real leather, so they're cheaper, which is so good. Um, and they're easier to clean because of that. So I still do have my tabs. These are from Martha Plans. But what I use this planner for is um, mainly a memory keeper type thing well okay let me explain so I do have my um these are all my inserts are from Justinia. I love Justinia. so these this is like my year at a glance top thing that I have which I love I punched the holes wrong on this so yeah um and then this I was using as a video and Instagram schedule top thing for myself like I would plan it out before the month began um, I didn't do anything in June, and then I took the month of March off as well. Um, I will explain this in just a second, uh, but a lot happened, has been going on um, in my life, and of course everyone else's because of everything that's going on. But So that's what I'm doing. I am planning on keeping it up for hopefully the rest of the year. And then I keep a monthly in here, and this is like my monthly highlights. I keep it in here and then I transfer this into my actual memory planner just because I like to I don't know decorate my fun times a lot of people just write it in like a perpetual calendar or something like that but I like to make it look all pretty <laughs> so and I try and use as much of my lefto leftovers as I can when I'm using this or like my freebies like this is like these are all freebies um, freebies so I try and use leftovers and freebies in here um, I'm not doing very well in June. It's actually the 18th, no, the 17th when you're watching this, so I need to update that. And I haven't bought my July yet, so I'm planning on buying my July and my August at the same time. I have been using, oh my goodness, what is her name? Sadie Stickers monthly kits all this year. Last year I used all Nikki Plus 3. This year I'm using Sadie Stickers. And then my weekly, so this is like my... Um, as the day goes on, I write down like what happened. Oop, you are not focused. I am so sorry. But I write down like what happened during the day. And then I transfer it into the weekly, which you will see here. So this is my weekly and this is what I use to plan in my memory keeper. So I literally just transfer this stuff into my memory keeper. I try and use, again, leftovers, freebies in here. Um, kits that I have too many of. I really like to use my Simply Gilded kits in here because you don't get like bottom washy. So they're a lot easier to use in here. And then I just pull in leftovers. Um, but yeah, this is the week we're on. As you can see, I haven't planned out today. I usually do it at the end of the day. And I can't remember what happened Monday night. There was something I was going to mark, but I for a lot, the laugh of me can't remember. And then... I have my goals in here for the year that again just any printables so um, just my goals and then each month and then 
at the very back I just have different lists that I like to keep track of um, kits that I need to buy things that we need to get for the house um, more lists that will come up and then I have notes pages back here so that's basically what this little guy is for he is for basically my my lists my goals and my to help me keep track of the memories for my memory keeper so next I guess I will move on to my memory keeper so you can see what that one is so here's this beautiful baby um, let me move that so this beautiful guy this is from um, stylish planner she is she has her own shop but she does lots of different planner um, covers so this is the one I got because one I love cheetah print and I just thought it was gorgeous so I just got my first name on it I have happy planner um, black discs on it as you can see it's got the little heart and then I use inserts from oh my goodness what is her name fairly organized chaos I use inserts from her for this and I absolutely love it um, this is what a blank month looks like so you can kind of see because I haven't done the month of June yet so this is what a blank month looks like it's a basically a blank slate the only thing you have are the days of the week and I actually wipe those out so and as you can see kits fit really nicely in here um, I do have to white out the very top because I think the Erin Codron shortened her top this year so a lot of kits were shortened so I do have I did have to white out the just the very top of this um, but that's it and then I white out the dates because a lot of these are very light as you can see um, I don't know if I white that one out I did white that one out but as you can see I just this is I take what I did in my B6 and I put it in here and then same thing with the weekly the weeklies are I love as well let me see if I can find a blank one for you guys so here's a blank one again it's very very basic um, all I white out is the days of the week which you can actually do what um, on your Andrea of Scroll Prince Coke does and just put the date dot next to it if you want but I love using date covers so this is what it ends up turning out it's perfect the sizes of the boxes are perfect everything fits perfectly in the sizes um, sometimes the bottom washi is a little bit shorter but then other times it's perfect and I that's what I'm not understanding um, about some of mine like you can really see on this week it was really short but see this one it was good so it's it's just really weird it's really hit or miss but and then I have these from planning uh, choco that I just print and I put the month so you can get the month but again I make my scripts so I make my own scripts to put the scripts in because I don't like writing I'm really far behind I'm actually in April on my scripts where my bookmark is <laughs> so I just kind of hit like a a snag where I just wasn't into doing all this so this is my memory keeper and then the next one I will show you is my social media which she has not been I'm sorry if you heard that she has not been getting much use out of her because I haven't been using her so but I did get a social media planner and I was using her very religiously at the beginning of the year um, I was putting my goals, my numbers, I was keeping track of those, different events like sales and stuff that was going on, things that I needed to remember, things that I needed to buy, and then um, I would write down hauls and stuff like the kits that I had over here. I would keep track of all the things I needed to film in the month, and then I would put down um, my schedule for the month. So, and then here I put down the things that I needed. I have like that... Um, app that you can schedule out your post on Instagram so that is what I put here what I need to schedule uh, and then I check it off when I do schedule it the pictures I need to take um, videos that are going up this week and then down here I've switched it up let's go to a month where I actually switched it up in April so in April I actually switched it up to where I put like the highlight of the day down here so whatever was going on that day um, a holiday you know a birthday anything like that 
And then up here, I keep track of like my YouTube stuff, the things I need to film, edit, voiceover, thumbnail, description, anything I need to tag, the cards I, I cards I need to do, upload, anything like that. Here is Instagram, what I am posted on Instagram, and I check it off if I do post it. And then here I keep track of um, the Facebook groups that I'm a part of. I like to try and post in them, but I'm not very good at it, as you can see. And then here, any happy mail that I get, I usually write right here. So, um, that is my social media planner. Sorry about that, my husband was calling me. Okay, but anyway, so this is what my social media planner is. I will start using it up again in July, um, but I just wanted to take a break for right now. The next planner that I had, I got a recollections planner, and I'm going to use this as my, um, what I was using my PP Weeks for. So what I was using my PP Weeks for is a, um, one, it was a plan ahead. So as you can see, I've already planned ahead for the month of July. And then it's a to-do list. So I have lots of different things. I have my to-do list down. And then anything that I already know that's going on that day, I can't remember what this is for. Um, but anything that I know is going on that day, I have it down. That way um, I can plan for it. So I have all that down and then my to-do list. And then as things comes, come up, I can just add in things. But I have already planned all of the month of July out because I wanted to and I had the extra kits. So I have the kits for August too, but I don't have the kits. Oh, maybe I do have the kits for September. I think it's Halloween. I don't have any Halloween kits, but I can just buy some printables. That's fine. Or just reuse like leftovers but that is what I have I also did a notes page right here so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use utilize this yet but I have it here and that is my recollections planner she's basically just my to-do list I will probably take this with me to work and stuff just because I want to be able to write down the to-dos that I think of during the work day that I need to do at home okay and then the next one that I have is my happy planner. I am not sure how I'm going to be using this one yet. Um, but I really want to utilize her. So I have her all set up and ready to go um, for the year or yeah, for the rest, the remainder of the year. So this is what she's looking like so far. But I love how neutral this one is. And I just, I love this one. I just think she's gorgeous. I love the cheetah print. Um, I have my little, like, guides in here to try and use. Same thing here, my guides. So I'm not quite sure how this one's going to be used. She might just be a fun enough extra one where I can just lay down stickers in and use my Happy Planner stuff. But she's here. Okay, and then the very last planner that I have for you guys is my teacher planner. So I went way different. You're going to see this, but I can't help it because this one's so big. I went way different this year with my teacher planner. Let me see if I can just, there we go. Um, I ended up getting a plum planner, plum paper planner, I believe is what it's called. Oh, I gotta take these out. Hang on. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna take this out too. Sorry. <laughs> Just taking my school stuff out. Yeah, plum paper. So this is a plum paper planner. Um, I did get a very customized planner this year. Um, we do all of our lesson plans and everything online. So, and we print them out. And we even have one of the other teachers actually has like a... Um, sheet that she makes for us that's like a sum up of that so we don't have to use the whole planner the whole lesson thing so I don't need a planner where I have to write out my lessons because it's just it doesn't work for me I tried it the past two years by using happy planner and it just doesn't work so I went with something way different so I did get a custom or I did get one of the um adorable little um 
teacher covers they have. I did get the big planner. I can't, rem can't remember the size, but it is an 8x11. I can fit an 8x11 piece of paper in here, as you could see. And then I did get my new last name, which was so exciting. This is the first thing I ever bought with my new last name on it. So um, I didn't put the plastic thing on it because I couldn't punch it through the Happy Planner thing. There's like a plastic cover like this one. It has the plastic cover, but I couldn't punch it. So I got it unbound so I could bind it on my Happy Planner discs and then put, these aren't actually Happy Planner discs, but I could have put it on discs, a disc system and then just punch it myself because that's something that I really like about the Happy Planner is I'm able to insert and take out things that I don't need. I have post-its because I use post-its religiously in my planner. And then um, I have these that came with the Planner Babe. I bought from the Planner Babe and I really like them. It has a three focus and then a check off and then just notes on the back. So I thought I would just put them in here just so I could utilize them whenever. And then I haven't put my name because I need to cut one out and put it on here. But I will do that. And then this is already messed up because we might not even be using this um, calendar for next year. But I already put our calendar in. And then I was going to use this for birthdays. But I did not realize that you get birthdays here. So I don't know what to use this for yet. That's something that I need to think about. I also need to take those stickers off. Um, but I'm going to just do that while I'm thinking about it. So I don't know if you have a plum paper planner and what do you use this for? Because I don't want, to, I want it to be, I want this to be very functional, um, very functional. So I don't want it to be something that I'm not going to use. I want it to be something that I will use but I just don't know what to do for it. So if you have any ideas if you're a teacher and you have any ideas of what I should do for this page, please let me know because I have been racking my brain trying to figure out what to do because everything I can came, come up with, they already have in the planner. So yeah. Um, sorry, this one is not, this birthday one is not coming off. Oh, that's because it ripped okay but um, undo is amazing get stuff off it's if you don't have it you'd really need to invest in it and then you just rub it and like the sticker the like the stickiness from the stickers comes right off so but I don't know what to do with this page and then I did put the months already on this page and I thought about doing the scope and sequence but that's not gonna be my scope and sequence anymore because you'll see why so, I don't know what to do here either, <laughs> but I have it all ready. And then I did insert some pages that I made. Uh, so I made like a morning to-do, and on the back it's evening to-do, so things I need to do in the morning when I get to school, things I need to do it before I leave. There's always something to do, like um, in the morning I like to uh, get my morning PowerPoint ready. Excuse me. I like to... Um, kind of tidy up my desk and just get it ready for the day. I like to try and get my um, small group stuff out and ready to go on my desk because we usually start right in the morning with that stuff. And then there's so many like up in the air things for next year. So yeah. And then I have daily to do's, things that I need to do every single day. There are some things that I need to do every day, but it's not really like specifically in the morning or in the evening. I might do it during my conference. Um, but I have those and then Friday to do's. Every Friday I have to prep for Monday. So that's what this is for. And then this is for the beginning of the year before we start school, classroom prep, things that I need to do and just put back to school. Um, everything I use except the washi tape was from um, like this, the uh, little stickers and everything is all from Happy Planner. And then in August, so this is what it looks like. You have your goals right here. You can do three goals every single month, your birthdays, your events, your things to remember. And then these are blank and you can make them whatever you want. 
and then here you have a notes page and then it goes into the monthly which is why I have my little thing here because it doesn't the tab doesn't open right up to your monthly so um, I have written down some things but I have not put it in my planner because like I said our calendar is up in the air right now they are trying to decide if that is the calendar we're actually gonna go with um, or not so I'm not putting anything down until I know this is from the happy planner it's just a bookmark from the um, like the wild collection and then I got the monthly so it came with a lot of notes pages, which I felt like would be really good. We have at least two meetings every month, so I can put my notes down here. At the beginning of the year in August, we always have all those in-service days, so I can have plenty of pages for notes. I figured I could have a notes just for um, things that I see in my classroom, things that I might want to change for next year. Just, you get, let's see how many sheets you get. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages, eleven, plus the one in front so you technically get twelve. I did not ask for any extra. This is what comes with the monthly. So if you buy the monthly view, um, that's what you get. I did add to-do list. So I did add to-do list in my planner. I got two every month and I did this because I'll be sitting with a group or I'll be doing something and I think okay I need to put that on my to-do list so I just have like these running to-do list I figured I would use not necessarily for a specific day um, but things that I need to get done and then if I have a specific thing for a specific day that needs to get done I could just put the date out beside it like needs to be done by whatever but I just I need running to-do list that's what I found I used my planner a lot for last year was to-do list and note pages so that's what I have so I don't have to put my lesson plans in here. I can just punch them and stick them in here if I want. Or I can put them in a binder like I usually do. And then that is how every month is. You just get your monthly, your notes pages, and then I have those extra to-do lists. I have two to-do lists in every single month. And then this goes all the way to July. And then I added two sections. So I added, this one is called My Class. I got the elementary version. I don't know if there's different versions, but I got the elementary one. Sorry, I had to get a little drink. So this is what you have. You have a goals page. Sorry, I already wrote my goals. So you have a year and three words. And you can do personal planning, organizational, and classroom goals. So I've already done those for next year. This is why I didn't put my scope and sequence at the beginning because you get a year at a glance, which is amazing. So I can like write down, <coughs> excuse me, um, my section, like all my planning and what we are planning to do each month for sight words, um, reading, phonics, math, social studies, all that. So I have that. This is my schedule, which I can't do yet because we haven't got a schedule. We usually have um, a different schedule during um, Pepperelli year on Fridays, and then we have our normal schedule, but we haven't got our um, specials. We don't know when our specials is going to be or lunch, and we don't even know how that's going to happen next year. The CDC keeps coming up with different things, so... We're waiting. And then this is a seating chart, but I don't really do seating charts, so I just drew out my classroom because I'm wanting to rearrange it this year. So I did that. I did my really my best at drawing a tiger, but that's my tiger. So okay. And then you have substitute information, which I won't leave this sheet. I'll make a copy of it for the sub and put it in my sub binder. Because I have a whole binder for that. And then you have student health information, which is awesome. Field trips and special events. So I can put that stuff down here. A volunteer list, which we don't have very many parents that can volunteer during the day because they work. Um, but I am willing to have any parents kind of volunteer. This is another reason why I didn't need to do student birthdays because you get this whole sheet back here of student birthdays. And then you have classroom resources classroom expenses, which I've already bought stuff, so I should probably write that right down. 
Parent communication log. So here you have date, student, uh, purpose for contact, and then contact. Um, I don't contact my parents just for negative behavior. Um, I try and let them know when their kids um, have a really good day as well, either with a letter or with a quick message through Dojo. I use Class Dojo. Um, so that is what this is for just contacting the parent anytime. And then I have my student information so I can have my parent and all that good stuff in here. And then I have a behavior log for my students, which is amazing. And then professional development, which I have already done one. I need to put it on here. And then I have my passwords. And then this is at this past year. So when the year is done, you can do the like a sum up of how it was. And then I added in the checklist tab. So this is just your checklist. I do have another Happy Planner bookmark. This is from the Glam Girl collection. But I won't keep this here. Um, I usually put grades and then I sub it out. And I have like checklists back here. Um, so that's where I'll put it. And then I added a folder um, from the Wild collection from the Happy Planner. And then I have leftover stickers from last year from the Happy Planner. And then I added in some notes pages from the Wild Collection. And then these cool little pages from the Wild Collection. And I think that's all I've added. Yeah. So that is my teacher planner. I am so freaking excited about this planner. I think she is going to be very, very productive for me. I will do an update of how she is working out um, probably in December, like midway through the year, so you can kind of see how she's working, if she's working. So, but I am so excited about her. She's going to be a great, great planner for me. But things that I would like to update you guys on. Um, if you have not checked out my Instagram or if you're not following me on Instagram, I did post a picture probably... Um, what day is this going up? Hang on, I gotta look at my calendar because I don't even remember. Okay, so I posted that picture last, on the 4th. The 4th of July I posted it, no, no, no. The 5th of July I posted a picture. Um, so if you do not follow me on there, um, I don't care if you do or not, it's up to you. But I just wanted to let you know that we are pregnant. We are expecting our first kid um, and we are so excited. But the month of June has been a struggle for me because, one, I moved into my second trimester, but I have not felt the best. And sitting under these hot lights that I have doesn't make it easy for me. So um, I just decided to take the month of June off. It started hitting me the end of May. That's why I kind of didn't put some of the videos I had planned up. But it... Um, June, it, it hit me a lot in the first week. Um, that first week, the first through the seventh, I just wasn't feeling good. And I just didn't think I could stand to sit under these hot lights and do it because our office is also a room that doesn't get very good, like air. I don't know why we don't know what's wrong with it, but it was an add on that they added to the house. So we're just thinking they didn't circulate it right. But so that is the main thing that's been going on. Um, just pregnant, <laughs> dealing with being sick and not feeling good. So, but we are very excited. Um, when you are watching this, I am actually 16 weeks. No, I'll be 17 weeks when you are watching this. Um, and we'll get to find out beginning of August what we're having. We're going to do a, um, gender reveal party so I will post hopefully a video hopefully I remember to get someone to take a video and I will post that on Instagram as well and um, maybe even on here for you guys so you can kind of see because I do want to share this with y'all um, y'all have been a major support for us over the year um, but yes we are so excited um, about this Chris was very nervous at first but he once he heard that heartbeat it was just I think that was it for him. So I just wanted to share that guy with you guys and let y'all know kind of what's been going on and why I haven't been on here as much. I'm going to try my best. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, I'm going to try my very best to um, 
get my, more videos out for you guys. If you have any ideas of what I should use my happy planner for and what to use these um, pages in the front for, please let me know. I will take any suggestions. Um, but thank you so much for watching this, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.